Hi, Patrick Lanny from NJ.com here with Matt Stibelkowski. We're going to be previewing the North Jersey Section 1 Group 3 final between Riverdale and Old Tapan, a Bergen County showdown. Matt, start us off here. Lead us into this game. What's going on here? Well, Old Tapan's been on a roll lately. I mean, they've won seven straight behind quarterback Jack Bilali and a defense that's just been stifling. I mean, in the first round of the playoffs, they held Jefferson to minus eight yards for the entire game. It was an incredible performance. And then they're the first team to hold Sparta under 35 points all season. They held them to 30 in the semifinals. Just a great job by their defense the last couple of weeks. And I expect more of that this week, uh, led by linebacker James Kelly, who was flying around out there. He had a huge clutch sack against Sparta in the last couple of minutes. Uh, and this team can really, really grind the ball. They run really well. I mean, they've got six runners with over 100 yards, led by uh, Marquez Antonori. This team just is kind of an old school tough football team. Uh, Coach Brian Dunn's done a great job with them and uh, I expect more of that just clean and really uh, good football going into this weekend. Old Japan, a highly ranked team at the end of the season last year. Obviously a great senior class led by Jordan Fuller. Coming into the season, wow, you know, they've, they've, all these guys graduated, they're gone. You know, maybe we've overlooked them a little bit, but time and time again they've proved this wrong and just keep rolling. Like you said, some very impressive players and stats there. Riverdale, Another championship caliber program, I'm sure, as you know, uh, Coach DJ Nymphius, uh, you know, he's over 100 wins there, and year in and year out, it's just the same thing, championship caliber football. This is their fourth straight final, seventh final since 2006, uh, but here's the caveat, is that they haven't won the last three, they're 0-3, and Nymphius is the first to take the blame for that. After his semifinal game, he said, you know, when, this, when things get screwed up, there's only one guy standing here, and that's me. So he knows what's up. He says he's going to make sure these guys are prepared. It's about the preparation, and that preparation starts with quarterback Dave Estevez. As you know, he's an electrifying player, yeah, wildcat-type quarterback, just can turn on a dime. He's electric. Any cliche you want to use is appropriate. And uh, they, just, they know their pedigree. You know, let, let Estevez run the show. They also got uh, Circo. He has 130 points on the season. He's a wide receiver. He also is the kicker. Um, so just look out for this Riverdale team. They're hungry. They want this championship. And I, I feel like they're due. I know Old Japan has just hump, you know, rolled along, but I think Riverdale, this is their year. Uh, so I'm going to go with Riverdale, 28-21, ending that three-year loss. So well, what do you think, Matt? Uh, I can't wait to see that battle between Estevez. Uh, he's such a dynamic player against the Old Japan defense. Uh, I think Old Japan's got a good shot in this one, but I do think Riverdale has the edge in this one. I'll go 35-33 Riverdale. All right, you heard it here. For Matt Sivilkowski, I'm Pat Lanny. We'll be on hand for that North Jersey Section 1 Group 3 final. And keep it here on NJ.com for everything you need for high school football.